Hovers and wheels don't mix. A crossout rant by Dangerously Incompetent. Version 0.10.80 nerfed hovers. Again. With the intention to stop them climbing up on top of rocks and wrecks and buildings, where the poor, hard done by harvesters and lancers cannot get them. All well and good, but the change has also nerfed hovers in race. The ride heights seem to be lower and you snag the ground really easily, causing you to spin or tip up on your nose a lot. This makes driving a hover build in race really frustrating. If I'm lucky, I can fly straight and I might win. If I'm unlucky, I'm going to spin and I'm going to lose. Now, hovers have a big advantage over wheels in race. They can pre-turn and go sideways and then accelerate as soon as they're through the gate, whereas the wheel build has to slow right down, turn through the gate and accelerate again. So a lot of wheeled racers will be cheering this latest hover nerf, but I say it is a bad thing. Racers like me have put effort, or money, into getting hovers and now racing hovers is an exercise in frustration. I say it would be better to separate hover builds from wheel builds in race. My solution is to have hovers and wheels in the same race but have prizes for the first and second wheeled vehicles to finish and prizes for the first and second hovers to finish. That way wheel builds are effectively only racing against other wheeled builds even though there are hovers in the same race. There will no longer be need, a need to nerf hovers to bring them into balance with wheels since they won't be competing against each other. I shall be protesting until wheels and hovers are separated and hovers unnerfed in races or until I get tired of protesting. And I shall protest these deplorable racing conditions by driving this leg build in race on the half hour and spamming links to this video in chat. If you agree that hovers and wheels don't mix in race, then like this video, share it with your cross site comrades, and join my protest in race on the half hour. Let's change race for the better.